guys and welcome to the video and I hope that you are feeling awesome. Right guys, on today's adventure we are heading back onto the Trent and Mersey Canal. Where we finished off the last adventure was at this bridge just over here, which is bridge 71 and we're going to carry on up the canal today. Alright guys, look, we've uh, reached bridge 71A already and I think that's what you would call a viaduct. Oh, okay. There's two train lines that split off in that area there then. And come, one goes that way, one stayed on the right. Oh. There you go. Right on time. Hello. Now all we need is a train to come on our left hand side. Ah, this is a freight line. <laughs> that is awesome. Well, how many was that? I, can't, I lost count. All right then. Was there some sort of a drain that used to come off and go into there? Maybe. L and N W R. Boundary post. Oh, now that is interesting. Oh wow. Myself a swan there, guys. Wow, I've never been this close to a swan before, guys. Hello, you just trimming the hedge, eh? Oh, so cute. Are you following me now? Are you? Should we go this way? Are you coming with? Or are you gonna stay there? I didn't even see there was houses to my left here. I might as well walk on a nice path for once. Wow, this bridge. Just look at the stonework on it. So weathered. Just look at this. Wow. And this has like got a road on top of it. Wow. Wonder how many narrow boats barges, canal boats, whatever the uh, name you want to call them, how many of them have been lined up here. So on the last video I looked back through the uh, clips and I realised that these numbers here, as that one says 74, corresponds to some sort of a drain that goes to so go into there. Right, well look down to that, it looks like it's been filled in but it could have possibly be another drain off from the canal underneath here. Where I'm circling right now, that looks like an arch area there. Looks like drains going down on that section over there. So this comes under there, it goes under, on t under this ground here, and it goes under there. So I must have been back in the day, used to be able to get onto this field from here before obviously they put that uh, fence in there. What have we discovered here? We got another spill. It must be some sort of a spill away, or I don't know. Is it a saluce or something? I don't know what these the technical term is for this. But there you go. We've got the uh, the canal draining into this, which goes directly underneath here, which shoots off in this direction over here. But I'm not too sure if this does go into the Trent or not. This looks like it goes off somewhere else. There you go, that's how it drains down into that. So yeah, it does look like it goes into the uh, Trent there. Couldn't see that from over there. What do we have here? Another locking wheel, like we've seen before, but this one's slightly different. So, obviously you'll put some sort of a winding handle on the end there. The question I've got is, is there a purpose to having two like, sort of drains that come off the canal into the River Trent then? Or is 
one older than the other. Fascinating. Right. Oh, we have a marker here. Shardlow, 37, and Prestonbrook, 55 miles. Let's see how many miles I can crack up on this uh, adventure today, guys. I keep having distractions, I'm not gonna get that far. But I've just seen this little uh, path just going down here. Oh, this looks like it's got some sort of a, uh, um, how would you call it, decking area. And this area's got sand. Is this sand? Whoa, look at this. I feel like I'm not even in England. Cool. Let's get ourselves back on track now. Wow, guys, just look at this log just to chill in. But uh, we've got another drain here, and that looks like this it used to go right down here in this section here, maybe drain off from the canal. Whoa, guys, just look at this. Look how misty and smoky that, that particular area there is. Yet all of this area is very clear. Oh, okay. We have a building on the uh, left-hand side here. We've got a big white building just over there. That's uh, Shugborough Hall. And this is the uh, Shugborough Estate here. This looks like a beautiful bridge, guys, coming up. And this is Bridge 72A. Now, this is very, very beautiful to know. I will be uh, showing you around uh, Shugborough Hall and all the estate but it's nice to it backs onto this area here oh I think I found the corporate of the misty smoke it's from the actual uh, boats itself I just hear that engine ticking over nicely lovely area Well, I believe it's time for a nice cup of coffee and relax in this area here. It looks like we have a boat coming through this, uh, under this bridge right now. And just like that guys, after a while the water is now drained and it looks like they're now ready to come through. Like little poking out his little nose there. Wow. That's such a small space there to get an arrow boat to come through this gap here. Well, this is the second lock we've seen on this uh, journey on the uh, Trent and Rosie Canal. What else have we discovered here? Whoa! Now I'd be interested to find out what water source that is. Because it goes directly underneath where we are here. It must come underneath, it must be underneath the canal. And it shoots off somewhere in that direction over here. Because it's not a part of that. And this is the, like, the third lot of these I've seen as well, what's the purpose of this? All right guys, I've just noticed another one of one of these drain things. All right guys, what have I found here? Look at that, it says 72 on that. We've got this here. It's flowing quite rapidly. If I zoom in there, you should see the, the water flowing there. Wow. I don't know what that smell is, but it smells interesting. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's the burning. It's the, uh, see there? That's what the smell I was smelling. <laughs> I thought that smelled nice. Right, where are we? Oh, okay. 
Right, now it makes sense. If you see that bit of water that goes over there, that is the Staffordshire and Worcestershire canal. There, it goes off there. And we're on this one here, so we're in this section here. So you gotta go over a canal to get back onto another canal. But this is cool. So, you can either carry on on this path here, carry on walking around here, and that takes you that direction. So, possible future um, adventures on this canal here. However, like I said, we're staying on the Trent and Mersey Canal. Right, up we go over the bridge. Look at this bridge. Wow, this view up here. We've got the Trent and Mersey Canal goes across us, and now we're on top of the um, Staffordshire Wishshire Canal here. Let's go that way. Fantastic. Some sort of a shop there, Anglo Welsh. Oh, you can hire narrowboats. Look at that. There goes, guys. Some information for you there. Oh look, we've got another marker here guys. Chardo, 38 miles, Preston Brook, 54 miles. Wow, there's so many boats here. Ooh, we have bridge 75 now. This looks like it's got some sort of a, a pipe or something for it. Or something, where is it? Is it a pipe? It is a pipe. Pipeline under surveillance. Weird. Under surveillance. Where's the freaking camera then? Right, okay. Anyway, let's commence under here. Whoa, crikey, look at this bridge. It's like, it curves in like that up there. And you've got this little bit of sticks out like that. So maybe at one point it was a different shape to this bridge. We have Great Hayward Marina. See, that fascinates me. They've got all that space they could have had, but why would they still keep a narrow entrance into it? Is there a purpose to that? If you know the purpose of that, let me know in the comments below. Whoa, okay. I'm really confused what this water here is. Because if you look in the distance there, that area where I am circling right now, that is the um, tr River Trent, right? Well, I just started a look at my map, guys, and it actually looks like there's an unnamed sort of water source here. I've just noticed this little cute little bird box right in there. That is absolutely so cool. Some more uh, boats around here. Oh guys, I can see a bridge coming up. It looks like a real nice one as well. And what do we have here? Looks to be some sort of a shed. A little boat shed. Oh God. Nifty. What the heck? Wow! Okay, I now know what this is. This is where they used to fill up with your uh, your diesel. There you go. That's a diesel pump now, not for road use. So this must have been some sort of a a business, you know, supplying goods and stuff to the people on the narrow boats.
very abandoned. So how long has this car been here? This is Bridge 76 guys. How do you, oh, okay. Whoa. So this will be our third lock. Wow, guys. Just look how so narrow this is. And there's some more of those things. See, I told you I keep seeing these. What is the purpose of these? You know, do they stop some, are they like bufferings or something like that for the boats? Absolutely no clue at all. Oh, we have another marker here. Right, Charlotte, 39 miles. Preston Brook, 53 miles. Wow. Wow, beautiful birds. Yeah, you, you, you shake that tail feather. <laughs> wow. Guys, today's adventure has been so wonderful. The weather has kept up. The ambience has been spot on. And also, the amount of things that we've been able to see, it has been eye-opening. So I hope you enjoyed seeing all of those wonderful things. But unfortunately, this is where I'm going to have to leave you for this one. So I want to say thank you ever so much for coming by. And always do your best to stay positive and screw all those negatives. And I'll see you on the next one. All right. Bye-zy-bye. -bye.